Hello, greetings and salutations. Welcome back to the BFC. I hope you guys have had a great week. So I am going live tomorrow at four o'clock. We'll do it live, fuck it. Just for the hell of it. So you know what? If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click on the alerts and join me. And let's liven up that chat section. We could talk really about whatever. I'll respond uh, whatever you guys want to present in the chat section. But I am gonna be I'm gonna be sharing some things with you guys. Uh, basically, you know, my portfolio, ILIS, CYBL, uh, IGPK, and my thoughts going forward. I, I will talk about CGRA too. You know, a lot of you guys have reached out to me frustrated about the share price uh, of many of these stocks and frustrated and, and, and worried about the future. Um, if you're convicted in your play, if you have that conviction, if you believe in the management, if you believe in the vision, if you believe the, in the process of the companies that you're investing in, you stay the course. You know, but at the end of the day, you have to do what's good for you. Trading in the OTC and trading in general, you know, it's not easy unless you're going to put, and this is why I don't day trade. You know, I try to find my long-term investment investments so I don't have to monitor them as much. So, you know, if, if you can't stomach it, it might not be for you. If you're struggling with bills, rent. The rent is too damn high. Uh, student loan payments, any of that stuff. If you don't have money for that, you should not be throwing your money into the stock market, especially if you're not well-versed in it, especially if you're not reading up and doing due diligence in it. It, that's just the truth. If, if, you're, if you put $10,000 in a stock that you couldn't afford to lose and you're down to $5,000 and you're back three months rent, pay your rent, all right? Now, I'm not telling you to buy or sell. Like I said, I'll never, I'll never do that, but you need to look out for yourself and look out for your best foundational interests, making sure that you have a roof over your head and you have stability because you cannot be strong unless you're strong at home. You need to make sure you have a good financial structure at home, making sure your bills are paid, making sure that your electric's not getting shut off, making sure that everything is in order. So that way, when you develop a savings and you have money that you're able to gamble into the stock market, you're able to do so. You know, for me, the money I've invested in the last two years, if you would have told me I would have done that 10 years ago, I would have been like, no way, why would you do that? Well, I would have said that because I didn't have that money to lose then. So it's, it's really about perspective. And so you need to really plan out strategically ahead of time what you are going to do. Yes, they're they're watching Clifford the Big Red Dog. It's very um appropriate for the week that we had. So <laughs> though there were there were some there was some movement for some stocks and if you capitalized on it and made some money, good for you guys. Um so yeah, so I'm I'm going to talk a little bit bit tomorrow about like my portfolio and uh my thoughts going forward. You know, I am very optimistic. You know, I I really really am. I, I, just to to be where I'm at now, especially like with my investments, I'm not happy that they're low. I'm not happy that I'm seeing red right now. I'm looking at, at it as an opportunity to add more because I have strong conviction in them. So that's what you have to ask yourself. Um, and if you're struggling at all in that, increase your due diligence. Do some more reading and, and surround yourself uh, with people that are going to give you information. So I don't know. Like, I, But I got to say, uh, last, last week was absolutely amazing to meet uh, Nick Link, JP, Dan Peters, um, guys from the Discord, uh, people that are following now that are probably watching this. Let me tell you right now, it was a completely overwhelming experience. It, it really was. And not just for because of Catalyst or like the, the shareholder part of it, which was the presentation was great and it was great to actually meet those guys. It was overwhelming in the sense that I got to meet people that I, I, I have become friends with over the last couple of years. And uh, it, it was great to shake their hands and spend some time with them. And you, you can't replace that. So the experience was great. I actually can't wait to go to the next one. And uh, a shout out to all you guys. Jord, it was excellent meeting you. It was great drinking $800 tequila. It was excellent. <laughs> no, that guy is a gentleman. He's great. And uh, Arlex and I, uh, we flew down. And I got to say, I'm a terrible flyer. I do not like to fly whatsoever. And he was totally calm, cool, collected. And uh, shout out to you, RLX. Yeah, it, it, if you don't like to fly, let me know down below. How many of you actually like to fly? <laughs> I don't like to fly. But actually, I think going, you know, down to Miami and back, it sort of alleviated some pain for flying for me. I'm actually going back to Florida in March uh, with the family. So I'm actually really looking forward to it. So that's all, you know, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to touch base with you guys. I'm going to go live, like I said, tomorrow. I look forward to... Um, talking to you guys in the chat and uh talking about whatever is on your mind and giving you my thoughts and uh that's it so remember there is more that binds us than breaks us and stay strong guys have a great weekend peace <laughs>